COVID-19 has exposed a pre-existing condition for some number of Americans, a condition that doctors cannot diagnose. And today, Democratic legislators in Colorado called out the bigotry linked to COVID-19. There was not a single Republican in attendance. Politics guy Marshall Zellinger found out the reason why is because the Republicans weren't invited. We will not stand for any form of racism, bigotry, anti-Semitism, because hate for one is hate for all. Democratic Representative Daphna Michelson Janay led this group of Democratic lawmakers calling out hate speech and signing onto this letter asking the public to speak up in the face of racism and anti-Semitism. Last month on conservative talk radio, Republican House Minority Leader Patrick Neville said stay-at-home orders lead to a Gestapo-like mentality. I would love an earnest apology, one that really recognizes that he chose poorly in the language that he used. In a text, Neville told me the day after his Gestapo comment, he said a better choice of words would have been authoritarian. 10 years ago this month, another Colorado lawmaker made a Nazi reference. In a Politico article about Arizona's immigration law, where police could ask for ID of someone they suspected to be undocumented, then Congressman Jared Polis said, I hope that we're not headed on the same trajectory that Nazi Germany was. It wasn't brought up in this news conference. Michelson Janay texted me after that she didn't even know about it. A Republican might have, but they weren't on this Zoom call. From the few phone calls I made today, Republicans didn't know about this. We recognize the difficult position it puts them in because we are specifically calling out um, a statement by their minority leader. And th that is something that they have to uh, deal with internally. For next, I'm Marshall Zellinger.